page. Hello everybody, it's Shane here. Today we're going to be doing the first part, number one, of the how to make your VR helmet thing. Today I'm just going to show you the basic assembly and stuff of what you should do. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is actually grab a cardboard box about this thickness and you're going to want to I don't know, take like, okay, what I did, because this seems to work every time I've done it, is I've cut out the screen, like I've drawn around the screen, and I made those also the length for my side, because it seems to be the perfect length you need to be able to see the screen and not be too far away. So, you want to do that. You want to get the right, like, sides of the screen that cut out into cardboard, and then use those as the sides. If you're using this type of screen, this exact type, with the three buttons on the back, you're going to want to uh, keep this on the outside like part of the uh, case itself so you can still get to those buttons so this is going to be our back so we didn't this we're not going to have a piece of cardboard as a back these are just going to be our sides and the roof for the head so let's get started first just do what i said cut it out and then cut out a, about double the size and length and then cut out a group <coughs> sorry about that a groove for your head and nose so if it, oh sorry that was wrong like this that should fit the screen. Okay, now we're gonna do this and assemble it. Okay. First off. Let's get this started. You know, want some duct tape. I'm using black because I like to probably, I like using the color black for this type of thing. Because all VR headsets nowadays are black. I should have probably had these pre-cut for the video, but I wasn't really thinking. Make sure they're nice and smooth. Okay, one sec. Okay, that's one side. Second side on Two sides, time to tape on the top. Okay. Don't want to get too much. Really don't need much. Fix all these duct tape issues later using my scissors. Time to finish the tape job, and then the screen will go right in there. And you'll have a perfectly nice shaped headset. Second, mom. You have a good shaped headset. One second. Bam, the screen goes in there, and that's the side for your face. Let's 
see how it goes on here. Yeah, that's gonna fit perfectly on my face. I'm gonna get some straps to put on. It's gonna be a nice, it's gonna be way smaller than the other one. It's still gonna be pretty fat, but it's gonna work. It looks a little unfl like flimsy right now, but yeah. Okay, one second. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is grab your screen that you got, should be about the same size as this one, and just shove it right in there. It's not gonna stay in there by force, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to tape it down. Just the same way you did these, but just one, one, just across the sides, and then it should stay in, okay? I'm gonna skip past this part because it seems pretty long and tedious and you guys really don't need to learn how to tape, so. Okay, as you can see, I got it all finished nice and taped in there. I know it's not the best tape job in the world, but the screen's not coming out. There's no light getting into the cracks, so it's gonna be good. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna tape off the rest to give it a nice, cool, finished black type look to it. And, uh, Okay, next we're gonna add on the straps right here. Here we go. Okay, let's trace this down this way. Okay, so this, by the way, I got these off a of leg brace of mine a while back. We are using duct tape right now, by the way, not regular scotch tape. We're using duct tape because duct tape holds a lot more and it lasts longer. Okay, so, gonna want to tape it. Make sure we can actually get this thing velcroed on there. Not velcro duct tape. Okay, now that that is not going anywhere. Okay, make sure you have, if you have the same one as me, make sure you have the velcro part on the outside so you can tape it on the outside so you don't get your hair. Okay, second strap now. This one doesn't really matter how it goes on. I want to get a little bit more tape to get a stronger hold on this side because I didn't get a good hold on the last side. Okay. Sorry about having to record from a webcam, guys. I really don't have a camera right now. I know you guys probably hate me for that. Okay, let me see. Both straps taped on there. And let's flip this thing around, put it on our face and see how it works. Okay, here we go. Okay, that seems to fit quite well actually. I'm going to have to fill in down here because light is getting in down there. Uh, but other than that, this seems to be working nice. It's not that heavy. The straps help a lot better than the hat did. Okay. Um, let me unhook out of here. Okay. In the next video, we're going to be putting on the motion tracking. Um, and we'll be hooking it up to the laptop and stuff. And I'll show you how to hook up this little converter box here to get it actually showing on the screen. If you guys want to see that next time, just wait till part two.